There is a lot of gossip in it from what I understand. Um, it's probably not as comprehensive as maybe some of the other Sunday newspapers, um, like the Times, the Guardian, etc. But um, yeah, it's, I guess it's been around for a long time, so a lot of people will be sad to see it go. However, I guess um, for what they've, what, what they've accusingly been done, they've been accused of, I guess you, know, you can't expect anything less. So if they've been hacking, then I guess they deserve to go. Big seller. I think it's one of the, the biggest selling newspapers in the world. But um, in Britain, it's seen as a, 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 a the red top, a, a, a tabloid a scandal sheet rather than solid news and economics and not politics. It's, it's about um, celebrities and their wives. And this is the kind of thing that News of the World has been doing more of in the last ten years do politics in a very aggressive way with that much detail. I can't get the Times and my sisters will probably get the Guardian. One of my sisters might get the uh, Daily Mail, which is somewhere in between the two. It pretends to be a broadsheet, but it's really a tabloid and it's quite bigoted. This is, we're probably a bit, uh, we probably think ourselves a bit too good to read the news of the world. Uh, but lots of people do, or did. Yeah, so